Okay everybody, so I'm going to show you how to repair a hole in a hollow wooden door. So, going from this to this. And all of this only cost under 10 pounds. So what you want to start off with is probably just looking to see like the extent of the damage. So with this one, you can see the, the wood at the front has been pushed in. Um, it's quite solid actually. I can't really move it much. There are bits around the edges which are a little bit flaky, but they're not really falling off when I touch them. So, with this kind of repair, I'll show you what I would do. So what I'd firstly do is just clean up the area, like just run your finger along it, just get rid of any like loose bits that may just come off in the process. These bits are fairly solid. If I just pull it out here, you can see it's still fairly attached same here same there same there so with this one not really much to kind of flick off so i'll show you what i do next right so what i'm going to do now is try to pull this out so i'm just going to use it's a long you want the longest uh, screw you can find and the thickest one you've got. So I'm just going to screw it in here. You don't want to go all the way through, just enough to grab the loose bit of wood. And I'm only using a screwdriver because I just want to show you that you don't need you know, loads of expensive tools. You can use the basics. So I've screwed it in. Put about half a centimeter. So now what I'm gonna do is pull this out. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Right. So as you can see, I've pulled this. It's quite difficult to pull actually. Um, but I pulled it out, I think as far as it goes. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna glue around the edges to fix it in place um, before I move to the next stage. Right here I've got this stuff. It's called Everbuild Mitofast. You basically Put this glue around where you want it to adhere to and then you spray it with this um, aerosol uh, it's like an activator which basically sets it off really hard really quickly oh i think it's instantly actually so i'm just going to apply this where i think i need it needs to be I'm actually going to create another anchor point because this area here just seems like it's not coming up. So I'm just going to add one more screw here. And I'm just going to pull this straight, hopefully pop this up yep, a little bit more. See how this bit is a bit more flatter now before it's recessed in, so that's good. Right, so this this is the activator I was talking about. Just a just an aerosol can you spray onto it. Um, so let's give it a good shake, and then the most important thing is pull these as firmly as you can. 
and hold it there for about 10 seconds um, after you spray this uh, activator. So pull it, keep it there. Spray the activator, but hold it there. I always find giving it a little blow encourages it to set. So I'm still pulling. Oh, it's quite painful. Yeah, I think that, that's pretty much set. Okay. That's good. Now you can see that it's pretty set. It doesn't feel like it'll push through with with force unless I put you know excessive force on. So I'm gonna remove these two screws and you'll see what's left over. Right, so that's what it looks like. Um, it's not as deep as it was before, which was what I was trying to achieve. So, it's focusing. So there, so it's my finger, it's not that deep. A few mil which is fine. It just means that, you know, you don't have to put as much, you know, putty down uh, to cover it all up, um, which makes the job a lot easier. The next step is to, to fill this in with some kind of filler. Uh, all I have laying around the home at the moment is this um, all-purpose filler. Normally I wouldn't recommend this because it's kind of a generic stuff. I don't think it's going to be very long lasting. And if you're doing a repair like this, which you kind of want to just do and forget about it, um, try investing in something a bit more expensive and uh, reliable and, uh, you know, not just an all purpose thing. But you want to get something that's going to be flexible, um, is not going to shrink and is sandable and is paintable. So yeah, I'm gonna try it with this and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna just spray it with a little water. It's not a necessary step, but it does help um, the, the filler to adhere to this wood a bit better. Right now, just apply the filler. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see that. So. Pretty simple really, just I'll start from the top, create a bead going across, create another bead, and just keep on doing that until you layer it up. Right, okay, that should be all right to start off with. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna just drag one of these across just to flatten it out. Okay, you can see how much excess I've got there. You just play with it, push it on into all the gaps so it's all filled up like that. Top, quite important. I'm 
and we can always use the other side which is clean to flatten off again. It doesn't have to be completely flat. It should be slightly raised so you've got something to sand down. The main thing is to, to make sure all those gaps are filled. I think that'll do. It's quite hard to, hard to work with this kind of all-purpose stuff. But now you just leave that to set uh, once it's set, we can start sanding it down flat. Right now that the uh, the filler is fully set, uh, I'll zoom in. So yeah, you can see it's fully set. Um, now what you got to do because it's um, slightly raised, uh, you have to sand it flat. So what I'm going to use, um, what, what, what I have laying around the house, is just like 100 grit sandpaper. Uh, I've got a block here. What you do is just wrap this around the block. The reason you do this is just so the surface that you're sanding with is flat rather than using your hand or your fingers will dip in. So you don't create like a like a crater. Um, yep. So you just start sanding down until you get most of it off, and then I'll go to a finer grade. I'm going to use a Hoover because it's getting quite messy. Right, so now I've finished sanding. Um, I just used 100 grit sandpaper because that's all I had uh, that was in the packet. It did take a while, probably about 10 minutes, and it was more hard work. Um, but you know, I've got the kind of result I uh, wanted. So I've sanded it down so it is smooth. I run my finger across here. Uh, the dark patches that you see here. Um, down here. These just parts where I've sanded the original paint down to the wood. Um, so that's why it looks dark. But it is smooth. Uh, there is some slight areas, kind of imp imperfections here where obviously I haven't put enough um, filler and up here. But yeah, that doesn't really concern me because I'm going to paint over this with primer and hopefully that will just cover everything up. Um, so this is what it looks like now. Not too bad. Happy with that. So I'll be painting this door with just white primer undercoat. Um, I'll paint the whole door so it looks even and not patchy. Uh, as you can see here, I've removed uh, the door handle. Um, this is just so it's just easier to paint and you're not having to paint around the door handle. Uh, put paper down and so on. Okay, so here, I, here is the results. Um, as you can see, yeah, doesn't look too bad. It's not noticeable to somebody who doesn't know that there was 
a hole in the door. Um, but for me, it is noticeable because obviously I repaired it. But no, it looks good. I'm happy with the result. I painted the entire door so everything matches up. Um, yeah, then downside or one thing I'd change and one thing I'd suggest you do is buy filler which is good quality and it's not um, all purpose ready-made stuff because there, is, there are some like very minor cracks. I don't know if you can see. It's very minor, but I don't think that will be there if you bought quality stuff. Um, so yeah, that, this is it. This is how to repair a hole in a door. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. You know, share it with people, help other people out. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.